Hello and welcome. I want to give you another update on my solar system. So hey YouTubers. I don't know if I had mentioned to you about these uh, two batteries that I added. They're 6 volt deep cycle. They're actually interstate type batteries. I got them on a uh, really good discount. They're called blemished batteries. because As you can see they have some minor cosmetic blemish blemishes. Uh, <clears throat> so I actually got them for about 60% off uh, retail so that's below wholesale if I did my math right the other thing I want to show you is um, I cleaned up my uh, my solar items here I actually have all of my my power comes on uh, through from the panels in the converter box which goes through here this is my uh, solar disconnect box for the panels which then goes into my charge controller then it goes into another disconnect which then goes and feeds into my um, <clears throat> battery bank and uh, it's pretty simple they're both the same they're uh, 60 amp D uh, square D uh, double pole uh, fuses now as you can see right now uh, hopefully I'm not using my charge controller because I have disconnected or turned off my solar panels. What I've done is I've actually taken and added another wire which runs through up here comes down and it goes into this here. Ah beauty 250 watt grid tied inverter and you can actually see it working. It tells you it's working because you see the little green LEDs running and it's just real easy positive red negative is black and then that goes through this regular standard cord which also seems to be the same type used for computer monitors and so on and so forth runs down through and uh, I'm gonna be disconnecting this battery out of this system because it's not deep cycle so I'm gonna be taking that off this weekend <clears throat> but anyway it comes through here and uh, this is actually uh, a, a kilowatt easy meter and it will read whatever uh, power you're using or putting back into the grid which is currently what I'm doing um, so I'm going to try and show you this as best as possible I think that's about right there and uh, so I'm doing 0.38 amps which is 26 watts because we just had a big cloud come through here um, <clears throat> the highest I've seen this generate uh, putting power in uh, I've got 260 watts of solar it's rated for 250 but because it's winter time my panels are not aligned correctly to winter so I'm only generating at best about 200 220 max watts um, <clears throat> but it is awesome I love this grid tight inverter and I love this device here because it tells me it's a pure sine wave obviously so it it finds out what Hertz and voltage your your home is at so right now the voltage that's in this uh, in my house is 122.8 and it adjusts it accordingly as you can see and it is uh, PF I'm not quite sure what that is uh, there's the Hertz so as you can see it uh, somewhat fluctuates in the home and so it adjusts itself to make sure that it doesn't um, do anything funky in the wiring um, 45 40 40 45 I think that's voltage something VA I'm not quite sure I'm not an electrician um, oh so uh, right now big cloud so that's how many watts I'm actually uh, producing which is 13 to 15 uh, going on 13 and um, it's putting in 0 0.38 0 0.36 uh, amps uh, AC now <clears throat> in case most of you don't realize when you uh, change your um, when you change your DC to AC and you're inverting that power from 12 volts to 120 volts you actually have to do some math there uh, because then your amps are going to drop 
you're going to go for, uh, divide everything by 10. So if you have 10 amps coming off of your panels, you're only going to put in 1 amp AC into the grid. Uh, vice versa, same thing. If you have, uh, in this case, I've got a 5, without the 12 volt battery, I've got 560 amp hour battery bank at 12 volts. When I send it through my inverter over there and it goes to 120 AC, I only have 56 amp hours uh, AC uh, battery bank. So if you put a load uh, AC uh, that is, say, 1 amp draw, you're actually drawing 10 amps from your battery bank. I found this out about a week and a half, two weeks ago. So it's kind of depressing, but it's good to know this information. Um, I'm going to be adding some more of these microinverters uh, above and on this side here because they are stackable, uh, along with adding more panels to my system so I can put more power back into my grid and slow down my meter. Please leave your comments. I love those. And please rate my videos. Thank you very much.